Hello the class of Desk 104, my name is Brandon McDuffie and today I'm going to show you how to mask an image. So with no further ado, let's get right into it, shall we? Now the image I'm using, for example, is called uh, Prison School. It's a manga. You can find it on mangadoom.co. Type in Prison School, provocative but funny series. Go watch it if you can. Anyway, let's get back to the quick masking tool. Now the quick masking tool is what we're going to use to give this image a color balance. And it's really popular with people who like to recolor uh, black and white images and so forth. So first things first, where is our quick masking tool? It is below our color palette, this uh, black rectangle with the dotted circle in here. And this needs to be selected before we start painting. Now a lot of people go to the paintbrush or use the polygonal lasso tool to further detail what they want to select. I'm going to be selecting the eye and we're going to be coloring the eye. So I'm just going to go freelance and use the paint tool. So it's going to color this in. Don't worry about the eyelash. And don't worry if you happen to mess up. You can always go to the erase tool and just erase little pieces that you want. And zoom in if you have to. It doesn't. Alright, we're gonna Ooh, seems about good. This seems about good. It's gonna get more stylish. Now this seems great right here. So we're gonna hit our quick masking tool again. Now you notice the eye is selected, but that is not the only thing that is selected because the whole image is selected. This is where select an inverse comes in. If you do not select an inverse and you go to color balance, then the whole image other than the eye will be recolored. So with no further ado, we're going to go to select and inverse. And now you notice, let me zoom in, that the eye is selected. Now, how to get to color balance? You're going to go to layer, an adjustment layer, and color balance. Or you can also go down here. There are a few buttons down here. The effects button. I think this is another way to go to the quick masking tool. And you notice this little circle right here it has the white and dark in it hit click that button and bam you go to color balance and congratulations you just masked an image go to the color balance tool hit the sliders there you go play around with it a lot hit the shadows change it with whatever quality that you want highlights red Give it a much brighter tone, a darker tone. You can back out of it. Look at your handiwork. And that, folks, is how you mask an image. Nope. <clears throat> and if you don't like the image, you can delete the color balance and start all over again to your liking. So with no further ado, I want to thank you for watching. And I can't wait to see your other videos, my uh, fellow classmates, of what they um, showing us so I really want to thank you for watching and I really do appreciate you it's been an honor doing this video thank you so much to an instructor thank you so much and goodbye